The patient is a 46-year-old man, diagnosed with a large hepatocellular carcinoma, predominantly in the right lobe. The tumor is awkwardly placed. It encroaches upon the intrahepatic right portal vein, right hepatic artery, and right bile duct, as well as the distal left bile duct. In addition, the tumor encases the right and middle hepatic veins and involves the distal left hepatic vein. In order to deal with the tumor and the hepatic vein involvement, we plan to transect the liver using a plane that would divide the intrahepatic left hepatic vein. The confluence of the middle left hepatic vein would then be divided at the cava. Hepatic outflow would be re-established by anastomosing the divided left hepatic vein to the middle left hepatic vein confluence at the cava. In order to accomplish this in a bloodless field, we planned an in situ cold perfusion of the liver with total vascular exclusion. In these cases, we prefer to do as much parenchymal transection as possible before instituting the hypothermic perfusion. Here, we planned on coming through the liver until the left hepatic vein was reached. At this point, a cannula will be inserted through a venotomy in the main portal vein. The main portal vein and the proper hepatic artery are then clamped, followed by the infrahepatic vena cava, and finally the suprahepatic vena cava. Once the clamps are applied and the left hepatic vein has been opened for venting, ice-cold HTK preservation solution will be perfused to the liver remnant via the cannula. This process minimizes ischemic injury to the liver remnant. The left hepatic vein will then be divided and sterile ice is placed on the liver remnant to help cool the liver. The venous outflow is then reconstituted by anastomosis of the left hepatic vein to the confluence of the middle left hepatic vein.